Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. that we do that the intro doesn't even do it justice from the research center uh, to the think tank to the program of uh, development and implementation and so much more we've been doing it for more than two decades um, and we're challenging the people in the community that are committed to seeing the community be different be stronger be more powerful uh, in so many different ways to to donate and I'm gonna leave it there for now. Uh, the other thing I wanna do is I wanna remind you to join me tomorrow as I will be the keynote speaker tomorrow morning. Um, it's going to be a live virtual event online uh, sponsored and hosted by uh, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And I have been Slided, slated uh, to be the keynote speaker. Uh, the uh, conference is titled Heart to Heart, but it's about healing and trauma. Um, and I am the keynote speaker. We're going to talk about trauma. We're going to talk about uh, mental health. We're going to talk about the importance of confronting this monster uh, that nobody wants to talk about in the black community, mental illness, mental health. And I am going to also be uh, a part of the breakout sessions where I'll actually have a group where we're gonna talk about the things that we need to focus on as men and how women can help men in this area. So, uh, and there are gonna be four other uh, experts that are gonna handle different parts of the breakouts and I'm going to share some information uh, on the channel. I'm going to share it some other places. Uh, so if you want more information or you need more information, you can email me at CEO at the Odyssey Project 21.top and I'll get you whatever information I have that you can't get by what I share here. Now with that out of the way, at some point we're going to have to get to a place where we are doing more than talking. Don't get me wrong, I love to talk. One of my top things to do. Uh, it's, 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 it's a gift of mine. Um, it's something that I've always you know, done. I've been on stage talking since I was three, uh, literally. Um, my first public speaking gig, I was three years old and I went around doing the, the story of the creation uh, something my grandmother taught me and she took me around and doing it and I've been holding microphones one way or another uh, um, but talking is my thing uh, but action is also my thing I didn't get to where I'm at in life 
just talking. I didn't get uh, to achieve some of the things that I've been able to do just talking. I don't wouldn't have the the progress I've had as a writer, uh, as an author, as a public speaker, as a business owner, as a as a scholar, without putting my foot to the plow to the plow and really pushing and getting things done. Uh, we have become experts at debating. Uh, intellectual pissing contests, blaming, pointing fingers, everything but action. The time is out for simply talking. If the talk does not lead to specific actions, based off of the conversation it is empty talk we've got to take what we know and make something happen we've got to discover what we don't know and make something happen we have got to create strategies and make something happen the time has long left that the cuteness of conversation covers the scars of devastation we have been hiding behind conversations and debates and all kind of talk for decades instead of taking action. It's easier to talk. It's easier to read a book and regurgitate what you've read in the book than it is to apply what you've read in the book. That's in any part. That's as an individual. That's as a parent. That's as a part of the black community. But it comes a point in time where you are going to have to sit up and say, I'm taking what I read in this book and I'm going to help one person. I'm taking what I read in this book and I'm going to become an instrument in the struggle to change things. Some people are going to be the voices of the black struggle. Some people are going to be the minds of black empowerment. Some people are going to be the financiers of the movement. Some people are going to be the distraction. Some people, that, that there's something that everybody can do. But nobody's doing anything and everybody's waiting on the next person to do it. You know, it, it, it's okay to have a platform where you share information if that information is being used. To share information just to share information. It's people literally making livings off of sharing information that's not being used. People flock to hear it because it sounds good. It's always great to hear somebody that looks like you say something exceptionally or intelligent or uh, 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 can't even get the word. I think it was almost on the tip of my tongue. But what we cannot do is get caught up and trying to hide behind the the allure of sounding good and and talking good and and, and, and presenting good but doing no good. The time is up for that. Our children are dying. Our men are imploding. Our women are broken. Nobody wants to admit that none of it is true. And yet we're at the bottom rung of the socioeconomic ladder year after year. We are increasing the rate at which we commit suicide. S significantly increasing. 30% 30, 30 over the last five years across the board. 49% over the last eight years uh, for black males 14 to 25. 14 to 25. We've got a problem. Young black girls, 5 to 13, are leading that statistical category in suicide. But we're sitting around having debates. We're sitting around uh, satisfied and content with pretending that we've arrived. Pretending that we've actually made progress. There's no progress. Statistically speaking, we are worse off than we were in the 60s. It looks better. We've learned how to floss with it. We've learned how to, 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 to snatch hold of the symbols. Home ownership is still 41%. Home ownership is a major part of generational wealth building. 
it's long from the only thing, but it is definitely something that you have to be aware of. We are going to have to do better. I cannot stress this enough. We are going to have to challenge ourselves to step up and do better. I am at my destination and I, I really don't want to get as far off into this as I feel like it because I am trying to manage my emotional well-being and my emotional health in an environment and in a place and in a situation and circumstance where I am constantly being bombarded with people who are in need of my help and everybody is still acting like nothing's wrong. You, you know, and my thing is I love helping people, so that's not the problem. The problem is that the numbers are going up and the resources are going down. At some point, we are going to have to deal with this on multiple levels. I'm gonna go hard in the pain until I have nothing left in me. I'm gonna leave this place having given this life in every area that I have passion, all of me. I'm not gonna leave anything. I'm not taking any of this potential to the grave, but it's more than just me and it's bigger than me. And I'm challenging every person to become involved, get involved in some area. Like I said, there are some of you that need to be directly on the battlefield. There's some of you that need to be counselors of those on the battlefield. There's some of you that needs to be financing the war. There are some of you that need to be coddling and protecting our kids. And I don't mean coddling them in a sense of making them weak. I mean hovering over them until they're strong enough to stand on their own. There comes a point. You, you look at any other species on this planet, the most ruthless lions when those cubs come they're coddled they're protected until they get strong enough to stand and and kill on their own they're protected our kids are left open and vulnerable to a system that's literally destroying their psyche their self-esteem their self-awareness and self-confidence and that's on us we're going to have to do a better job so look i'm going to get ready to get off of here I'm going to go chill, relax, try to unwind with the guys. And that conversation is probably going to get heavy, too, because it's so much going on. But I'm challenging everybody that's watching this. If you don't have your own thing going on, support what we're doing. Go to the description box. Click the link. Give. Go to Cash App. Give. If you have to use a GoFundMe, we got one of them, too. Give. If you got something, and, and there have been a couple of brothers that have reached out and offered their services and I brought them in. We need a lot more men to work with boys in every city. So even if you're not where I'm at, we are touching, the goal is to touch every city. So wherever you're at, there's a need for men, black men to stand in and touch black boys' lives. And we need to start connecting. So reach out. We need to put boots on the ground. We need to have uh, people in place. And I'm going to be traveling around this year teaching people the concepts and principles and uh, curriculum for a black man lead. Um, I don't know how we're going to do, but I'm going to make it happen because we need this national, universally uh, shared network uh, for the rite of passage so that we are specifically defining manhood in a way that every young black male understands what's expected of them and that they will be held accountable for it. That's my challenge to you. I'm going to get off here. Thank you for lending me your time and I will see you later. Don't forget, stop in. This conference on mental health is going to be off the chain. So stop in and check it out. Thank you.